gentlemen, it's Blind a Day, and here is your host, Miss Scylla Black. another blind date and in tonight's show we'll be finding out how Claire and Adam got on in the Principality of Monaco <laughs> and what happened to Jamie and Jody on the road to Crete Whoa. but right now let's meet three smashing lads looking for Miss Wright tonight come in the lads What's your name and where do you come from? Hi, Solo. I'm Anton and I'm from Essex. Anton! <laughs> what do you do? Well, I'm training to be an airline transport pilot at the moment. And uh, it's hard work, Top but it's gun. going to be worth it, I hope. One have day. you been to any exotic mm. places? I certainly have, yes. Um, I've been to Alaska recently. Um, that was really good fun. I a went good to adventure? hiking, climbing. Yeah, absolutely. I love all that, you know. Oh, well, tell us about it. Share it with us. Uh, well, I'm, my sort of experience uh, there that I remember mostly was climbing up this mountain, sort of hiking and climbing up this mountain. And so uh, I decided to sort of have lunch and I uh, got out my peanut butter sandwiches and um, tuck it into them. Yeah. Suddenly saw this huge grizzly bear, like, staring at me, looking at my sandwiches. Quickly, like, chucked them on the floor, ran away. I thought, well, you know, I love peanut butter sandwiches, but I'd rather them go to the bear than meet me basically. and you escaped on skate i certainly did yes oh yeah. well anton the enjoy blind tell. date tonight let's much. hope our pigger doesn't <laughs> think you're unbearable hello number two what's Hel your name and where do you come from hello Silla. my name is mark and i'm from birmingham yeah. what does our mark do in birmingham well i'm actually a student and i'm oh. doing a p degree so I'm hopefully so, going to go and uh, work in and teach in uh, secondary schools. Oh, isn't that nice? Well, you look very fit. You look Thank gorgeous. Thank you very much for saying so, Scylla. Now, your mother, I've got a message for your mother, because we're trying to get him heard off. All right, Mum? Now, what does your mum say? She's complaining. She, well, she's complaining because she hasn't had any grandkids yet. Oh. Oh. And she's hoping that tonight I meet the girl of my dreams and I can provide her with a couple of grandkids. Oh. <laughs> Hello, number three. What's your name and where do you come from? Um, my name is Michael and I'm from Cashel, County Tipperary in Ireland. Oh, the Jesus, the Jesus. Very lovely for you. That's well. How super for you. What do you do? Do you work in Ireland? Well, I'm, well I work in England, but I'm a sales manager in England. A sales manager? Yeah. yeah. And I do believe that all your friends are going to masses and saying well, prayers and yeah, lighting there are. candles for you. They are. I come from the country and the whole of Ireland will be looking at this and they're going to light candles and say masses, devotions, <laughs> everything they can think of. <laughs> hoping that I get lucky tonight. Yeah. <laughs> because it is a big shame that you're on blind date because this is the story of your life, isn't it? I'm very unlucky. So. Ah, especially oh. with girls. Only with girls. The only with girls. We used to play a game when I was younger, right? We used to play a game called Kiss, Cuddle and Torture. And then, so that would mean that we'd run around the playground and we'd catch a girl and we'd go, would you like a kiss, a cuddle or a torture? Or a torture. Yeah. A torture. They, uh, they, and would you believe every time I caught them, they went for torture? <laughs> Why is that? They'd said they'd rather anything than, than kiss me. A lot, a lot of kisses of delight tonight, all right? Thank you very Enjoy much. Blind Date, all three of you. See you in a minute. <laughs> well, three lads hoping to be top of the charts tonight. And here's the girl who's definitely their number one. Her name's Sarah, and she's from Glasgow. Come in, Sarah. <laughs> Thank oh, you. you look gorgeous. 
gorgeous. As to you. Are in As for to a you. Treat, treat tonight. Oh, it's cool. lovely. Thank you. Now, Sarah, you're a vet. I am indeed. Yes. That's wonderful. How long have you been doing that? Oh, coming up for four years nearly now. Really? Yeah. And that's really good because, I mean, you are allergic, are you not, to I animals? I am. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> allergic to my job. Absolutely, oh, yes. What a shame. I mean, is it just one certain type of animal or well, what? Well, I'm allergic to cats, dogs, horses, but my worst is rabbits. I'd have to say, <laughs> rabbits are my worst, yes. Well, so. What happens when, you know, you treat rabbits? Well, I usually come out in a rash sometimes on my skin if I've been touching them, but a runny nose and a sneeze and itchy throat. And if I'm operating, I have to get the nurse to blow my nose for me, kind of <laughs> bit dribbly in. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not very pleasant, really. <laughs> Now, you've got beautiful hands, I've noticed, yeah, but you used to love awesome. your long nails. Yeah, I can't have nice long nails though. now. This is as long as I can get them. I groom especially. Um, because, um, you know, we can't really be fishing about in dogs' abdomens with long nails, leaving oh. bits behind. Oh. 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 Your nose running and everything. Yeah. Oh. If you're not allergic to men. Oh, no, no, no. I think they're allergic to me. Well, let's find out about okay. that. Yes. I hope you've got three great I do questions. I have very good questions. So far away at the first one. Right. Hello, boys. Hello, Hi, Sarah. Sarah. Right, as you know, I'm a vet. However, I was a bit upset one time when someone called me a dog. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a, a breed of dog, what breed of dog would you be and why? Number one, please. Well, I think I'd have to be a greyhound, because I'm slim, athletic, quick off the mark, and if you pick me tonight, you'll be on a winner. Oh. Number two, please. Well, Sarah, I think I'd be a St. Bernard. And if you pick me tonight, I'll rescue you from these two Rottweilers. Oh. Um, and number three, please. Sarah, would you believe that people call me Lassie? <laughs> because I've blonde hair, good teeth, and I'm very, very loyal, and I know if you go on a date with me, you'll go... Here, Lassie. <laughs> right, my second question is, uh, I'm a bit of a hoarder. Is there anything strange that you hoard and why? That question to number two, please. Well, at the moment, Sarah, I've got over 100 chocolate bars at home. Now, the reason I've got them is because, like me, they're sweet, they're dark, and they're lovely. <laughs> Number three, please. Um, I'm, a, I'm a rugby fanatic, and I go to all the international Irish rugby matches, but sadly, they don't win that many. But I can <laughs> promise you, if you win me, I'll be your winning ticket. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I have a ticket in the service. And uh, number one, please. Well, I'm a pilot, and I travel a lot around the world. I've collected quite a lot of souvenirs as I've gone. But the only thing that I want to collect tonight, Sarah, is you. Oh. Oh. Right, final question. Um, I love musical theatre, and one of my favourite shows is Oklahoma. Yeah. Oklahoma? Yes. I'd love to play the part of Edo Annie, because she gets to sing, I'm just a girl who can't say no. <laughs> <laughs> what part of musical would you most like to play, and why? That question to number three. Well, being Irish, I'd have to say it was river dance. <laughs> and, I would, and I would have to be Michael Flatley. <laughs> and tonight, Sarah, I would be your Lord of the Dance. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, my question to number one, please. Well, to tell you the truth, I don't know much about musicals. But one thing's for sure. I'd love to do a duet with a girl who can't say no. Yeah. And finally, to number two, please. Well, Sarah, I'd be Oliver. Because after our date, you'd be saying, please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> Tough end, it is a toughie. Oh Who do we need for this toughie? I don't know. We need Graham. We need Graham. Yeah. Yeah. We do. <laughs> well, Sarah, will you pick high flying number one?
the souvenir hunter who reckons if you won't say no, he'll definitely say yes, yes, yes! <laughs> or maybe you'll go for chocolate loving number two, the Oliver Twist who you can't resist. He reckons you're in for a Dickens of a date. <laughs> or perhaps it'll be loyal number three, the Irish dancer who wants to whisk you off your feet and make sure you're the lassie he's taking home tonight. <laughs> Her decision is yours. me for a little bit of help there and I couldn't help Absolutely her hopeless. at all. Oh, no. Who are you going to go for? Um, I think it has to be number three. Yeah. I think you made a perfect choice. Oh, right. okay. In fact, any of them would have been a perfect choice. <laughs> but you did turn down number one, our pilot, Anton from Essex. Come in, Anton. <laughs> You turned down number two, that was Mark from Birmingham. Come in, Mark. Fingers crossed for the third one. You chose for your blind date number three. That was Michael from County Tipperary. Come in, Michael. Oh, Michael, you're What do you think? Thank you. Yes. What do you think of our sir? She's right? lovely. <laughs> Are you going to play that game with her? I, I will, yeah. I play Kiss, Cuddle and Torture. Oh, no. He's a good <laughs> I always get tortured. Well, uh, <laughs> you're not quite the in, I'm sure, eh? He's there to give the torture. I wonder where you're going on your blind date. Oh, no, I've already picked tonight, so... All right, OK. Let's see, if, see where we go. I'll ask him. Come on. What does it say? A date in Cyprus. Oh! Wonderful. Yes, you're jetting away to Aphrodite's island for a blind date full of holiday romance. You learn how to sail, horse ride, even cook your own kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> Throw in the local water. Oh, look at this. Throw in the local water park, and you've got a very lively date on a very lively island. Let's hope the goddess of love is smiling <laughs> on you both. Ladies and gentlemen, wish them well. Our Sarah and Michael. Enjoy Cyprus. Well, we're going to take a break right now, but when we come back, we'll find out how last week's couple, Claire and Adam, enjoyed their date in glamorous Principality of Monaco. And here's the moment they met. Here he is, number three, Adam from Derbyshire. Come in, Adam. <laughs> well, hello and welcome back to Blind Date. And let's meet our couple from last week, Claire and Adam. <laughs> Sit yourself down, Joe. I think they like you, Adam, out there. Thank you, Silla. Well, Claire and Adam, you spent a fabulous date last week in Monaco. So let's see how you got on. Here we go. Monaco. On our way. Cheers. <laughs> this is the way to travel, isn't it? It is. It's all right. From our airport to our hotel. So this is Monaco. I like glitz and glamour. I could get used to this. Here we are. Monaco. 
Monaco, the hotel. Lovely, isn't it? It's to the ocean back there. Yeah. Hello. Thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely, Meridian Monte Carlo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy your stay with us. Black cap? No. Yellow cap? No. Silver stretch? You know it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's, Let's go, go clubbing. <laughs> What'd you do for a tenner? <laughs> oh, Scylla. <laughs> if only. <laughs> Gorgeous. Rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. She okay. shall have diamonds wherever she goes. Kiss me. Thank you. Monaco looked exciting, especially the casino. But when it came to romance, did they both have winning ways? Let's find out. When the screen went back and I saw Adam, I thought, yes, cool. He had good shoes, good hair, all round solid shoes. <laughs> he was definitely the best of the three. When the screen went back and I saw Claire, um, I was surprised because she didn't look how I expected her in my mind. For a start, she had blonde hair. However, she did look very nice and I was pleased with the way she was looking. Starting today, I found Adam quite fanciable. I thought I'd lay my cards on the table and ask him how he feels about me. He said he was here for a good time, so I thought to myself, what do you mean? Do you fancy me or not? I felt a little deflated by that. We went to the palace and Claire took me by surprise by asking me to put my arms around her, uh, which I did, gladly. And I felt very comfortable and very natural and I thought for a moment that she might even like me. We went up to the palace to watch the change of the cards, and Adam got quite tactile. He put his arms around me and rested his chin on my shoulder. And I thought, hey, maybe he does fancy me. And I was happy about that. We went to a nightclub one night, and we're having a great time. Claire was being very tactile and affectionate, and I was just waiting for that little green light just so I could make my next move. The thing that really turned me off the most about Adam was his grumpy mood swings. Um, he was grumpy on the flight. He was grumpy on our first lunch together. He was grumpy on our second lunch together. And if you want to impress someone, you don't do that. On the date, Claire was moody. And I was worried at one point because I thought it may have been as a result of something that I may have done or said. If I was being really honest, there were just two things that Adam and I have in common, and that's our clubbing and our music. And for him to be Mr. Right, he'd need to have a little bit more than that. We oh. have got an awful lot in common. And it's, well, so much it's scary. And I think that's a good foundation to build a relationship on. I'll definitely see Adam again, and I think with more time, we'll get to understand each other better, and who knows, there could be some love in the air. Well, it was strange, that, wasn't it? Very conflicting there. Grumpy, definitely. grumpy, grumpy. Is that true? Yes. It all look like the grumpy sort, Stella, really. No, 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 you don't. But that's to me. Let's go and talk well, it was, to be fair, so it was six of one, half a dozen of the other. Um, yeah, well, to be fair, you were a bit snappy and short. No, oh, no. no. Oh, I, I, start. We're going to have a round. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to have a round. No. 
Admittedly, on the flight, you were a little bit grumpy, and you admitted it to me afterwards anyway. You said, I did apologize. Well, so you, yeah, well, and you went, I'm really sorry, but you know, I'm a bit tired. Well, let's talk about when you finally got to Monaco and what happened there because, I mean, you, nobody saw the green light. You never saw the green light. What were you waiting for? I'm not very good at picking up things like that, though, anyway, so I'm, I'm, the, I'm not very good with um, green lights <laughs> at all, really. No, you have to drive an instructor. It's. Uh, but no, I, I did pick up a few vibes from Claire that felt. But didn't okay, respond but... lots. Yeah. He was very. He was. He's quite. He's very cool. Like when I said when I first saw him, I thought, yeah, he's very cool, and he's sort of with his manner and his attitude. He's a very chilled kind of guy. So um, you leapt in first, did you? No. No, I just went with the flow. I didn't want to push it. So what, a bit confusion. Who kissed who first then? You, you kissed me first, I think. <laughs> yes, I mean, definitely kissed me first. No, I think you kissed me first. No. <laughs> well, we, when... did, we did get on. We did have an amazing we, we time did. together. We yes. really clicked straight away. Similar personalities, good fun. Oh, what you, are you gutted? Yes. I mean, no. you're obviously a smoker. And no. although she enjoyed... <laughs> you, you're not a That's smoker. I am silly, yes. And yes. she uh, enjoyed the... What did you say? Enjoyed the kiss, but it wasn't as sweet, sweet as it should have been. been. Yes, could have been. Well, to be fair, Silly, Claire's a smoker as well, so... Oh, hang on a minute. Right, I, did, I, I smoke menthol cigarettes. <laughs> I smoke... No, I I'm not a heavy smoker, right? And I smoke... <laughs> and Adam smokes roll-ups. <laughs> How long did this kiss go on oh, for? Oh, at least, ages, at least five... She, she won't put me down, Silly. She's just like... <laughs> <laughs> A rat of a drain she pipe. Was. That's nice, isn't uh, it? <laughs> well, I, well, I've never been referred to as a rat of a drain pipe. But, there, <laughs> but you say you've got so much in common. It's frightening. Is that true, Adam? We were saying things at the same time. Just and this, the. Claire asked me at the airport uh, what my favourite dance tune was and we both came up with the same answer at the same time. And just little things like that, you know. That yeah, and when we, we met some people me. and people were talking to us and we both responded with exactly the same answer. Oh. And uh, so it's quite uncanny how we clicked so well. So yeah. on, on that note, we've got a lot in common, but I think from a, a life perspective, oh, I have a little bit more I can hear a drive and ambition here. coming on, <laughs> you know, which I'd like Adam to have more, more of. But... We want to see each other again, and you know. So is that the bottom line? Could... You are going to see each other again. Definitely. I'm thinking a bit too laid back for Claire. She wants somebody with a bit more uh, drive and determination. Oh, well, I'd well, like, like to see him again, but if he doesn't. Want yeah, to... of course, I'll see you again. Yeah. Yeah. So you're committed, but you're a bit sort of laid back about no, it. No, uh, yeah, I'm very committed. So uh, I'll see Claire. When? Again. When? Uh, <laughs> we do tomorrow. <laughs> I'm working. Well, there you go, you see. Well, go down and see it at yeah. a club. It it oh, yeah, well, if we get free entry, definitely. Oh. <laughs> free entry, VIP treatment. I think this is the way the date went on and on and on. And all <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, wish them well, our Claire and Adam. <laughs> well, we're going to take a break right now, but we'll be back to meet the gorgeous Jen to ask to choose one of these three smashing ladies. of you know someday he'll want to go to college. A bit of you know someday you'll want more than just two weeks in the sun. A bit of you know someday you'll want a bigger boat. A bit of everyone knows they should invest for the future. With our index-linked saving certificates guaranteeing... Three ladies, there they are. <laughs> well, hello, girls. Hello, oh, hello, hello. Stella. <laughs> and let's start off with you, number one. What's your name and where do you come from? I'm Emily and I come from Cheshire. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I know you're retired now, but tell everybody what you used to do. I used to work at the uh, yoghurt factory at <laughs> Cuddington. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about holidays, because I do believe that oh, you've yes. never... Is this true, Emily? It's true. You've never, ever been abroad? No. <laughs> <laughs> never even been up in a 
an aeroplane. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you have been to Yarmouth. I have. <laughs> Tell us what happened when you went to Yarmouth with well, your companion. Well, me, uh, my companion and I, yes. we went on a camping holiday yes. to Yarmouth and uh, we went late at night, so we thought we would stay on the lay-by for the night. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, the next morning we got up and we had, uh, like, cornflakes and stuff, but I rubbed my undies through, you know, and put them on the boot of the car. <laughs> well, dry while we were having our breakfast. <laughs> well, we set off on the holiday and uh, we got it so far. I said, Oh, I've left my knickers on the boot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, were they still on the boot? Well, no. No. No, they no. thrown away. Your knickers <laughs> Oh, what a yes. shame. So you went on your holiday. So we Did it upset holiday. your holiday at all? Not at all, I oh, know. <laughs> <laughs> so you had a great holiday. I had a great holiday. And you were coming home. And I was coming home a week later, and we passed this particular spot, and there's me knickers. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, tell us, are you wearing them tonight? Uh, I don't think so. I don't wear them. <laughs> oh, <please. laughs> move on from you you're totally Nicholas tonight oh dear oh you'll get me into trouble I'm in trouble hello number two what's your name and where do you come from hello Silla I'm Peggy from Devon <laughs> now may I ask I mean do, do you mind tell me your age Peggy oh I'm 70 70 <laughs> And you're, you're retired now as oh, well. Oh, yes, very, yes. But unlike our El Emily, you are a very well-travelled oh, lady. Yes. And you have been abroad everywhere. Tell I've us been everywhere. Been. Oh, do you really want the lot? Oh, well, not the lot, <laughs> but, you know, the furthest place that you've been. Well, New Zealand, Australia, Thailand, Bali, you name it, I've been. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a reason why you do this round well, trip yes, almost now, every year. Yes, because I have a son in Australia. Yes. So every year I get a round-the-world ticket. Oh, and I just go where the wind takes me and end up in Australia. Oh, don't start talking. Oh, <laughs> wind. Oh, wind. Oh, wind. Oh, don't start. <laughs> now, you were a bit of a matchmaker yourself. Tell us what happened. I was a bit of a cupid. Well, I was on a plane with a young man from South Africa, and he was very nervous. So he was sitting next to me, and I did the motherly thing. You know, I said, look, you'd be all right, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> you all right, Chuck. <laughs> I said, you know, I've done this many times, many, many times. And we chatted, you see, and I was calming him down. And there was a young lady at the back on the next seat, also from South Africa, and she wanted to know what was going on. So I explained, and she started talking to him. And after a few minutes, I realised that he had gone over his nerves and, you know, they were having a nice little... He quite chair. fancied the bird. Yes. So I did the good thing and I said, look, you come and sit on my seat. I will go and sit on your seat and read my book. Well, I sort of read my book because I was watching them. Oh. <laughs> Are you they, Yeah. Oh, yes, of course. I mean, I'd put them together. Yes. So, um... What's so, the end of the story? Did they go on together? They the went sunset? off together. Off the plane, didn't even look at me. Oh, and oh. what I was dying to say to them, Scylla, was, what? will you come back next week and tell me how you got on and do I have to get a oh, new act? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Perfect match for our picker tonight. Well, that would be nice. Fingers Thank crossed. <laughs> Hello, number three. What's your name and where do you come from? My name is Jenny Silla, and I'm from the island of Butte. Ah, Jenny! From Butte. <laughs> Jenny, you look stunning. You look wonderful, Jenny. I love the act. I thought oh, you act. might like it. I think and it might suits like you. It. You know how I feel about acts, don't yeah. you? <laughs> now, you're a well-travelled lady, too. And, yes, I am. And, and I think you've been to New Orleans, New is that Orleans, right? New Orleans, yes. Oh, tell us That's about that. That's my favourite place, because it's, it's the birthplace of jazz, and as you, you know. Jazz. I love jazz, yes. Right. Well, I happened to be in Fritzl's Jazz Pub, yes. and somebody said, the guy over there sitting at the end 
is an ink spot. And I thought, isn't not that an marvelous? ink spot. <laughs> so I said, I'll go over and ask him. And I asked him, and he said, Honey child, I sure am the last remaining ink spot. And my name is Lloyd Washington. <laughs> so I thought, Great. And I said to him, I've got a lot of your LPs. And I said, My favorite song, with, well, this is, I know it sings a lot of songs, but this one that you sing is called Into Each Life, Some Rains Must Fall. Oh. He said, Oh, yes, let's sing it together. And we did. Oh, and you it was did. marvelous. Oh, oh, how did that great one go? Into each life, some rain must, must fall. fall. But too much, too much, too much is falling in my Into oh, his heart, some pain must fall. But one day. tonight oh girls you're a lovely bunch of fun you are you girls enjoy blind date you, see you all in a mo see you later girls three lovely ladies hoping to waltz off on a date tonight and here's the gent they want to dance the night away with his name's dudley and he's from east sussex come in dudley <laughs> Oh, Dudley, sit yourself okay. down there. Dudley, what an entrance, Dudley. <laughs> you came on there, what a fine figure of a man. Well, I go to the gym in uh, Brighton Hove, my local gym, three times a week. I do work out on the machines in the gymnasium, uh, swimming in the, in the pool, and in the summer I, I swim in the sea, of course, living on the coast. It's a wonderful part of the country to live. And uh, in addition to that, I love my... Latin American and ballroom dancing. Oh, gosh. You may be ever so tired. You've just taken up another sport, though. What is it? Yes, uh, recently, a couple of years ago, I took up rollerblade skating. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, this is a little surprise for you. I'm, I'm sure they don't believe you out there, but have a look at this photograph of you with your rollerblades <laughs> on. <laughs> You better get your skates on tonight and roll away with your first question. We've got three lovely ladies beyond those screens. Wonderful. Thank you are very you much. Excited? I'm very nervous, very excited, ah. and very elated. Good evening, ladies. How are you this evening? Good evening, well, Dudley. Good, evening. Fine. Good, wonderful. <laughs> well, this is question number one to contestant number one. I'm a mere 73 years young at heart, and my motto is it's never too late to enjoy life. What's your motto in life? Well, Dudley, um, we only have one life, so it's best to grab it with both hands. Wonderful. And, uh, and I know what I would grab. <laughs> well, that's brought a twinkle to it's your eye, Dudley, hasn't it? <laughs> no, this is the same question to... Uh, to contestant number three, please. My motto would likely be the same as Mae West, which she said, Big boy, <laughs> I never worry about the men in my life as long as there's life in my men. <laughs> contestant number two, please. Well, I've travelled around the world three times, so my motto is that if I keep travelling, old age cannot catch up with me. <laughs> number two question, and uh, this is to contestant number one. As a Latin American and ballroom dancer and a former professional footballer, uh, I've been given... <laughs> The nickname Twinkle Toes. Oh. <laughs> what bits of your anatomy <laughs> are worthy of a nickname and what would it be? <laughs> well, do 
thirdly, uh, I love to sing, so it, it'll have to be my chest. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, like a, a musician's chest, you see, so, but you might find it a treasure chest. Oh! <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Lovely. The same question to contestant number three. Well, Dudley, I think mine would be my hot lips. And when you kiss me tonight, yours will be steaming. <laughs> and the same question, thank you very much indeed. The same question goes to number two, please. Well, Dudley, I've been told I have beautiful eyes. So with your twinkly toes and my twinkly to eyes, I'm sure that we could both twinkle a lot together. Very good indeed. On the home stretch, Dudley, third and final question. Yes, this is a third and final question, as Silla says, and it's question number three to contestant number three, please. I believe the retirement years are the best in one's life. In fact, I've recently taken up rollerblade skating. And I absolutely love it. <laughs> what have you discovered late in life, and why do you think I should try it? <laughs> well, Dudley, since I retired, I go to jazz festivals because I love dancing and jiving. And if you would come with me, then we could strut our stuff and all that jazz. <laughs> <laughs> The same question to contestant number two, please. Well, I love dancing too, Dudley, and I've recently taken up line dancing. So, Dudley, pick me tonight, and you and I could certainly step out of line. Oh. <laughs> and this final question goes to contestant number one, please. Well, Dudley, I like to party. So, <laughs> so I can let my hair down. And uh, if you pick me tonight, we could do the boogie woogie. <laughs> wow. oh, it's going to be very difficult. Very difficult indeed, Sarah. Very difficult. I think you need a lot of help. In fact, a From lot, a lot of help. And I believe Graham's the man to do it. You believe right, Graham. Well now, Dudley, will you choose musical number one? The party animal who wants to grab her chance and grab you for her boogie-woogie boy. <laughs> or will it be well-travelled number two who promises to put a twinkle in your eye and a spring in your step? <laughs> or maybe you'll go for kissable number three, the snazzy, jazzy girl who wants a lively man for a hot time tonight. <laughs> the decision is yours. The biggest decision of my life, Silla, and I think I will go for number two. I think it was the line dancing I that did it, it was, for Silla. you. I think it, it was. did, didn't it? I think so, oh, Silla. But you're going to be so disappointed. You're going to be so disappointed at the oh, two that you turned down. What a shame. Because you turned down number three. That was our Jenny from the Isle of Butte. Come in, Jenny. <laughs> One style, what great. Lovely to see you. Oh, you. Oh, you look wonderful. Thank you, honey. Oh, Thank you. bye, darling. Lovely, lovely. Very beautiful. You also turned down, how could you? <laughs> you turned down number one, that was Emily from Cheshire. Come in, Emily. <laughs> Oh, Emily, well done, well done. <laughs> 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 
you get me nervous now? Very, very nervous, Scylla. Oh, very right. excited. Well, don't, you will be even more excited yes. when you see her. She's gorgeous. Wonderful. Because your blind date for this evening, you chose number two. That was Peggy from Devon. Come in, Peggy. <laughs> You, you think you made the I right so, choice? Oh, yes, what yes. a compliment. Isn't that nice? Lovely. Well, I hope somebody's going to make the right choice and choose him where you're going on your blind oh, date. It's a lady's prerogative, Scylla. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> well, I was number two. I'm picking number Wonderful. two. Will you please open it and tell me where we're going? Very kind of you. Very kind of you. I appreciate that. <laughs> 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 it's been more exciting now. Yeah. Do you want... like this? Yeah, just that and just read the oh, top. Yes. A trip to France. Oh. <laughs> Yes, you're off to the beautiful Alsace region of France for a boating blind date. Yes, you'll pick up your luxury cruiser in Strasbourg and journey in sedate style through the glorious French canal system. There'll be plenty of time to sample the local croissants and the fine wines and even visit a chateau where Louis XIV stayed. And it says here, let's hope it's a right royal trip for the both of you. Wonderful. Lovely. Just thank make you, sure Silla. you come back next week and, yes. and tell me how you get on. Thank you for having us, Silla. Oh, you're very Good. welcome. Good. I'll Good. see you next week. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Kugli and Peggy. Thank you, sir. Jamie picked Jodie and they chose a date to Crete. And here's a reminder of when they met. You chose number two. <laughs> you chose number two. That was Jodie from North Wales. Come in, Jodie. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, after the show, we discovered that Jamie had a girlfriend. <laughs> We didn't think that was fair to our Jody, was it? No. No. So she enjoyed a fabulous trip to Crete on her own. Yay! Well, let's see how she got on. Hello. Welcome on Olympic Gateways. Thanks. Welcome to Greece, welcome to Capsis Hotel. Do you have to look ahead? Yeah. Yeah? Head high? Yeah. And you smile. <laughs> How can I smile when Jamie's not with me? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, no, ma'am. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so that's very beautiful, she's so very clever too, you know? Made it then, Jamie. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. Would you like a glass of champagne? Yes, please. So, where's a nice place to go? A very nice place to go is Rathimnon, a very traditional city with a very, very nice small port and uh, nice old houses. Nice man like you? No. <laughs> this is for you, my beautiful lady. I wish you will have a nice time here. Oh, I'm not doing bad, am I, silly? There's only one man in there, and he's 65. <laughs> Sexy eyes, 8 out of 10. Might take him home later. <laughs> Three, two, thin. Woo! <laughs> Wouldn't even give him one. Bravo. <laughs> It. <laughs> Hello, this is more like it. I found the local football team. Let's see what they've got to offer. Hello, boys! <laughs> wow, still, it's much better here. Hello. <laughs> Bad. Look at this one. Nice hair. Hello. Hello. 
Near the seven, silly. Wow. What can I say? I'm glad Jamie's not here. <laughs> Well, Silla, it's all worked out just perfect. Well, Pete looked loads of fun, but when it came to romance, did Jodie pick a winner? Let's find out. When the screen went back and I saw Jamie, I just thought, oh, dear. <laughs> his back hair looked like he'd come out of the 80s, a real smooth-talking car salesman. I thought, not my type at all. I do not fancy you. No way. <laughs> when I realised Jamie wasn't going to be coming to Crete with me because he had a girlfriend, I was absolutely over the moon. So excited. I was going to Crete on my own. All those men, I could do exactly what I wanted. It was just brilliant. <laughs> when we got to the airport, I'd not been there long, and I met this gorgeous bloke called Kevin. And he was really nice to get along with. I thought, I really fancy you. Anyway, he didn't waste any time. He gave me his number and I just thought, oh, can't I take you to Crete? <laughs> On the last day in Crete, as I'd not been having much luck with the blokes over there, I was taken to meet the local football team in the hope that I'd find somebody. Anyway, I was going down the line of lads and there was one there and he was just like, oh, wow, he was gorgeous. He was absolutely stunning. <laughs> I had a fantastic time in Crete. It was great, full of fun. If I went again, I'd definitely check out Kevin in the airport and then once in Crete, I'd go down the local football team and I'd pull the Greek football players. Oh, Jodie. Well, well done you, Jodie. I mean, nothing was going to mar your enjoyment, girl, was no it? No way. Not at all. Still, I had to go out there and enjoy myself, even if it was on my own. Well, were you telling the truth, though, or did you exaggerate a little bit about, you know, Jamie's appearance? I mean, did you think he was that slick back, you know? Silly, it was not what I expected at all. The way he'd gone on when he was behind the screen, I thought, he must be gorgeous to say the things that he's saying about himself. <laughs> and then the screen went back and I just thought, oh, right. <laughs> it's not what I expected at all. Tell us about the football team. There were some lovely-looking fellas there. They were. The guy that taught you how to do that dance was nice. Was he married or anything like that? No, he just worked non-stop all the time over there, but he was too Greek. <laughs> <laughs> but you were in Greece, Jodie. And he was, he was quite smooth. He was like, oh, oh Jodie. So oh, so. mm. What about the waiter that gave you the rose and thought you were beautiful? Oh, he was a sweetie. Why can't men be more like that all oh. the time? Just and then you went, you went on to the football team and you, you described one certain footballer as absolutely gorgeous. He was, silly. thing is, footballers do it for me every time. The legs and everything, they're lovely. <laughs> and this one, he just had such a cute face and I thought, Oof. You do. Couldn't you speak English a little bit more and just... <laughs> <laughs> Did you get his phone number or anything? No, I didn't, but I've got his name. He's called Yanis and he was really nice. Oh, was he? Now, yeah. do you think you'll sort of... Uh, Try and get in touch with them again if you ever went back to Crete. I'd definitely pop down the local football team again and it was real good fun, but just didn't find anybody. Well, Jodie, surprise, surprise, you don't have to go down all the way to the football team <laughs> to find your Yanis because we have flown him all the way over from Crete. to blind date, sit yourself down there. Oh, well. Well. <laughs> is this a surprise or what? This is just... Oh, my God. <laughs> He's just as nice as I remember him to be. Is it? Oh. Now, you thought that was the end. You've got Yanis here. So now we're going to treat you to an extra special date. You're going on the town together. And you're going to have a lovely champagne dinner together. And let's hope, let's hope, yeah, yeah, let's hope, you know, a little love comes out of this, Yanis. Of course. Enjoy your special blind date together. Ladies and gentlemen, Jodie and Yanis.
last week, but we will be back next week to find out how Sir and Michael and Dudley and Peggy enjoyed their dates together. So until then, it's ta for now. ta everyone! <laughs>stay with us now as five new contenders face that magical doorway with stars in their eyes. with Going Places, the holiday matchmaker.